he's such a Squidward, okay? All right, people, what's up? Today, I probably found Darman's craziest video ever. That's if you consider child labor to be pretty crazy. Mom sends bad kid to military school. What happens next is shocking Darman. What the fuck is Darman up to this time? Hey, Jay, dinner's gonna be ready. What did I tell you about eating junk food before dinner? Uh... And this room... It looks like a pigsty. I can see you, Darman, flexing the Jordan 4. Somebody amongst the Darman actors has some good fucking taste. Aside from the sexy fucking shoes. What the fuck is this dirty ass room, dog? I get it. Homework is crazy. You probably way too busy to focus on any other shit. But my guy, I can't even give you the benefit of the doubt. If you was rotting in your fucking bedroom playing Halo of all video games, you desperately need to go the fuck outside. Your vitamin D levels are fucking zero. We got clothes everywhere, wrappers in this bed. It looks like a pack of wild dogs slept in it. It's my room. It's not like anyone else is gonna see it besides him. This is my house. Oh shit, mother just put the foot down. By the way, audience, in case there's a few parents that are watching my videos, please take my advice when I say this. Never say the line, it is my house, after they say it is their room. Because guess what? If it's your fucking house, then why don't you clean their fucking room? You see what I mean? You kinda back yourself into a corner. So if you really want to put your child in their fucking place, straight up take their room away from them and they can sleep in the fucking living room. No privacy, no nothing. You gotta put them little shits in their place. I want this room spotless by the time dinner is on the table. Or what? Or what, mom? You see, audience, I'm giving you parents free consulting right now. Because if you just say for your child to clean their room without any stakes, they're not gonna clean their fucking room. Instead, you need to articulate your shit talking like this. Hey, son! <laughs> You little shit! You said you were gonna clean your fucking room? Sure, go ahead, don't clean your fucking room. I'm just gonna sell everything in your bedroom and you're gonna fucking like it. The second you say that, they're gonna get on their shit. And put a clean shirt on. Brian is coming over. And I want you on your best behavior, young man. Don't even think about playing any pranks. The last guy didn't even come back. Good. If this child were to be my son, I will literally fucking stra- uh, PG-13. PG-13. What I meant to say was, I will strenuously ground them for months upon months. Will they ever see the light of day again? I don't know. That's kind of up for debate. All I'm saying is that my children will be very well behaved. Because if not, then, uh, <laughs> we don't even want to get into that story. That did not sound good. She's bluffing. What is she gonna do? Buddy, you have absolutely no idea. To any of you in the audience that has the mentality of what are your parents really gonna do to you, you should probably reconsider that thought process. It's not like they actually need you for anything, of course. If they really wanted to snap their fingers and send you off to army cadets or some shit, they can fucking do that. They don't need you to pay the bills, take the dog out for a poop. Aside from being their love and joy, you're just a fucking parasite. And if they need to to send you somewhere to straighten up your fucking ass, they will. I don't know, when Marco started acting out, his mom sent him to East Point. Really? Isn't that like a military school? I'm not sure, but apparently it's not as bad as it sounds. He said it's like summer camp all year round. No parents, you get to stay up and play video games, you can even go on trips on the weekends. That sounds like heaven compared to living with my mom. Your definition of heaven is incredibly screwed up. I don't know, I wouldn't say necessarily being a fucking Jeffrey and living like an absolute slug would be heaven. To me, it just sounds like being a typical couch potato with no purpose. In contrast to me, of course, a hard-working fucking alpha Chad getting women and shit. Your definition of heaven sounds like my version of hell. I don't hear you cleaning! <sighs> Trust me. The sooner I get out of this place, the better. Look at our little man, all grown up and ready to move out. Fresh out of fucking sixth grade. I remember that very short-lived phase of my childhood where I thought I could be self-reliant on my own without my parents in fifth grade. Boy, did that last fucking 10 minutes. Listen, kid, no street smarts, no money in your bank account. You're gonna fail in life. I'm sorry, somebody has to say it. <laughs> That was delicious, babe. Thank you. Make this yourself. <laughs> so old family recipe. It's been around for generations. Hey, could you grab the cheesecake from the fridge for dessert, please? <laughs> 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 yeah. 
You devious little boy. I can't even lie, I still do the same shit with my dad. We could be eating dinner and I'll just slip some ghost pepper sauce in his food. By the way, he's a real fucking pussy with spicy food. Slip the hot sauce in their food, let them consume it and enjoy the ride. Go ahead, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, mm -hmm. Hold on. I'm sorry. My mouth is on fire. What in the world is going on? <laughs> Little man is about to get in big, big trouble. That facial expression only describes one thing. Oh shit, I fucked up. How do I get out of it? Now, typically, audience, it would be funny if it was somebody in your family or maybe a friend. But if you're doing this to a complete stranger, then that's just a fucking dick move. And also going directly against what your parents just told you. Not necessarily the way to get on your mom's good side. I am done trying to discipline you. If you won't listen to me, you're gonna have to go and learn how to listen elsewhere. You've left me no choice, Jay. I'm sending you to East Point. Man, sounds fantastic, chef's kiss me. What the fuck was that? Now, obviously, this guy is not going to be going to some summer camp school. Spoiler alert, the title says something about Darman and child labor. I don't know yet, but uh, it's definitely not about a vacation school. And I'll be honest, I'm not very sure if those fucking things even exist. School's a fucking prison. But yeah, our little man is about to get quite the rude awakening. You should be careful what you wish for, Jay. The grass isn't always greener on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this life lesson? The grass is always greener on the other- Shut the fuck up. This is the boys' quarters. What the fuck is this? A war room? Is this Andrew Tate's fucking Hustlers University or some shit? This singular image alone must be reeking in testosterone. I can feel myself becoming more of a man just by looking at this video. Wow. Everyone's so quiet and well-behaved. Here at East Point Academy, we do try to instill the correct value. Is that my bed? Yes. I've never seen a Darman actor look more pissed off in my life. You see, audience, where are these Darman actors when you need them? Actual good acting actually puts a good front on camera, not some cringe-ass diary of a wimpy kid shit. Not the new X-Men? Oh, yeah, that's the, uh, X-Men. What's the big deal? Why can't we talk? Uh, quiet time at 2000 and lights out at 2100. Uh, in English, she will play? This guy doesn't know military time. He's more of a lost cause than I thought. For anybody in the audience, 2000 is 8 p.m. and 2100 is 9 p.m., which in my opinion is a very respectable bedtime. I go to bed at 5 p.m., so in my opinion, these kids are getting so much more time. I'm kind of jealous. You know what? I say, no parents, no rules. And let's get this party started! I really don't think that's a good idea. You know, Sergeant Stokes is really strict. Stokes, my boy. If you wanted to turn in the dance circle, all you had to do was ask. Does this look like the guy that wants to get fucking sturdy? I swear this kid's judgment must be going out the window every time he gets confronted. Like if this guy could simply read a room, he could actually get out of so much trouble. But no, continue to fuck it up. You step into my turf, disobey my rules, drop and give me 20. 20 what? Put jobs! Make it 40 on the ground now! Okay, bro, what You will address me as sir! Yes, sir! Do it! Okay! As for the rest of you. Audience, are you seeing these fucking push-ups? These aren't even the push-ups that middle school girls would do. Tell me how the fuck that's gonna build any muscle in your body. You could do so much better than that. This clown liked to party. He was always trying to bend the rules. In fact, 
He was a lot like you. He was like me? But what happened? He tried to pull a fast one on Stokes for April Fools. Long story short, he miscalculated that one big time. Got sent to the hole. I've heard about that. What is it? Solitary confinement. Anyone who survives never comes back the same. Legend has it. Some kids never come back. What is this bullshit? These kids are describing this shit like it's some campfire horror story. You don't want to go to the hole. Nobody fucks with the hole. Listen, buddy, whatever this hole is called, there's a saying I go by. When there's a hole, there's a goal. And audience, if I see a hole, I'm at a fucking goal. Man, that's just some urban myth. Stokes probably made up to scare everyone into following orders. That's probably true. I'm bringing back. Darman, what the fuck? Children are now drugging people in the Darman universe. I never thought I would see it coming. I thought that you were going on the Disney XD aisle, but you're finally getting a little PG-13. And honestly, I support this shit. I slipped him enough supposed to take down a resource. Look. He's out cold. You know what I said earlier about this guy being a good Darman actor? Please forget I said any of that shit before in my life. I've never heard a more feminine scream in my entire life. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's right, baby. You have learned your lesson. The grass isn't always treading on the... Whatever the fuck she said. Anyways, audience, I've seen enough bullshit today. Please click the video on screen. I promise you'll love it. But anyways, yeah, subscribe.